Yeah, a couple of hours ago this evening, I got done lubricating this uh, full auto crossman piss, what do you call it? The full auto Beretta. All right. I had this thing sitting around for months. So, not only that, it's loaded and it's ready to shoot right now. So this is what, this is what I did to it. I put it on safety because it's ready to shoot. It can do full auto. It's got a fresh CO2 inside it, everything. So it's like, um, I'm gonna do it this way. <coughs> Slide it out, see, it's in there. Is in there. I try not to touch that one. They're both loaded, ready, and dangerous if you ever shoot them by accident. This is the non blowback Lancer. Yes, I have tested this one out already. I'm sorry, I mixed up the last video with something else, but I'll go ahead and start over. Yeah, this one I fired at the can 30 feet at first and then 40 feet afterwards. This is a 480 FPS uh, Lancer, Tactical Lancer X92, Lancer X92. Yeah, this one, this one is only a couple of days old. This is like five, six days old. This is probably four, five months old, six, maybe six months, I don't know, five, somewhere about four to five months old. This one's five days old. This one, this one I really put on the show. I test, I used up all of the, all of the BBs that came with this, I used them all up. I put them all in there, except I put some of them in there. This one is also brand new, but I haven't used it. This is a Smith & Wesson, uh, I forgot what it is. It's a non-blowback. This is non-blowback, all metal, Lancer. Um, this one did put on a show. This one actually showed some sparks four times when I missed the can and hit the asphalt at about 30 to 40 feet. That's how raw and strong this thing is. This is a 480 FPS, 480 FPS. Not like one of Crossman's where the power fades out and then it comes back. Sometimes it's kind of strong, yeah. This one really holds up. I'm not saying none of Crossman the guns can't shoot. They're pretty powerful and dangerous, but they don't stay as good as this. I'm gonna do a short tutorial. I don't know what else to say. <clears throat> this one, the replica or the identical twin, the cousin, the cousin of that one. Oh God, I almost made a mistake. I almost made a mistake. Yeah, I just loaded this one up. Um, I'm thinking of test firing this again. This has been sitting around. This thing feels just, let me see. They feel, they feel exactly the same, but not exactly the same weight. This one feels kind of heavy. It's slightly, slightly a shade lighter, but it feels exactly the same. They both feel exactly the same. They look exactly the same. You can't tell which one of them is which if you like, if you, if you spin them over like that. You spin both of them over like that, you can't tell. Only you can tell this. This is full auto. This is a uh, blowback. This is non-blowback. Got a switch, doesn't move on this one. The switch moves on this one. Hold up. Switch moves on that. 
The switch doesn't move on this. Everything is stationary. Everything is solid. This is non blowback. See the hammer doesn't move. It cannot move. No slide. This one does. Open it up. I better pop it. I don't want any accidents in the house. This one moves. Put it on safety. All right. This one is uh, loading. by accident so that's about it really that's the first time in my life I ever picked up two guns that were so exactly the same but different FPS different uh, I don't know what you want to call it one is non blowback and one is blowback they're both the same exact shape color size almost the same rate the same detail almost Never had that happen before. Look, this one is also loaded. This one is loaded and it's ready with CO2. I haven't tested this one yet. This is still fresh. But that one, this non blowback Lancer, in broad daylight, I've seen four sparks in the daytime when the sun is out. And at about 30 to 40 feet, I saw sparks. Most pis most air pistols don't do that. You usually see some dust kicking up. But when you, when they show sparks, it means it's, it's, um, it's high power velocity. It's extra power, that's what it is. Sometimes you shoot on the floor, you don't see any. Then all of a sudden you see it. That's because it's, the strength of the CO2 probably changed inside it. But this, this gun is all natural. That's why, right, you know, it's like that. Anyways, so much for that. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to test fire that. Uh, I'm gonna test fire the Crossman sometime later on this week, I don't know. This one has to go next. Um, I'm not gonna mess with that one. I already had that one. I'll probably deal with that one last, but this one I haven't tested yet. I'm gonna go for another round in this one and see what it's like. <laughs> oh, hold on for some. No, that's it. <laughs>